All right, so for this demo, we're going to use Operations Manager, and we are going to discover and configure our application for application performance monitoring. We are in the authoring console here, and we are going to use a template to add a monitoring uh, management pack. First thing we're asked for is what kind of performance monitoring do we want to do? We are going to do a .NET application performance monitoring configuration. We are asked for a name, uh, so we can type in our customer demographics, and we are asked for a management pack. Now, a management pack in Operations Manager is a capture of everything we need to know. Uh, we have the configuration, we have the performance counters, we have all of the information encapsulated into the management pack so that Operations Manager knows what it is, what we need to do, and what all the settings are. We're going to create a new management pack. Uh, we're going to give it a name, Customer Demographics. Oh, type that in. We are simply going to create that we, if we have the ability to have knowledge associated with the management pack. So if you wanted to capture any information about the application, you could type it in here. Then if anything goes wrong, the same knowledge about the application is provided in the alerts that come through. We're just going to create our management pack. And the next thing we're going to do is choose which application we want to monitor. So if we hit the Add button, what happens when we hit Search, uh, we can filter actually, which filter first filter and search and we have now discovered our application. So operations manager through the management pack structure has gone out and looked at all of the servers that we're monitoring and has found the our customer demographics application so that we can simply add that in as the application we want to monitor and with that we're done. Simple as that, discover the application, add it in and we can now continue on and configure how we do our application performance monitoring. Here we see that same screenshot that we saw in the presentation. We want to turn it on. We want to set our threshold. We're going to set a threshold of 500 milliseconds. We've got a highly performing application and we need a lot of uh, configuration there. We're going to set uh, 500 milliseconds and we're going to enable the additional configuration for the server side and client side monitoring. We want to go through all of those details and make sure that they're okay. So for our application, we're going to customize the settings and we're going to turn on um, the application failure alerts and we are going to enable all exceptions. This is purely the amount of noise that you want to get through in your performance monitoring. If you don't want to know about application failures, you only want to care about performance or if you only want critical exceptions, you can choose those options. We're going to turn on everything so we get a really rich view of what's going on inside our application. Carry on through the wizard. Again, we're now at the client side configuration. Again, we set our thresholds for both page load and the Ajax. And continue on through the wizard. We enable, simple, tick box scenario. I mean, this is so easy to, to turn on. And we continue on. And with that, we have configured and discovered our application, turned on our application performance monitoring. We're given a summary of what's going on. And all that we have to do is click Create. And it's done. With that, we have created a .NET performance monitor for our customer demographics application. As simple as that, uh, that's how hard it is. Very easy, very easy to turn on, very easy to configure, and very rich information coming through uh, that we'll take a look at uh, at a later date.